Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new History Archive Collection big Yu-Gi-Oh! announcement. This one is actually going to be pretty dang cool. And then on top of that, we've got the new S-Forces coming out in Battle of Chaos, which is an archetype that's all about using those columns. But I haven't seen anyone play them in most recent times. But let's go and check it out. Maybe this will give them some new support so it will actually see some play. The artwork on these cards look amazing though. So the first card that we're going to be taking a look at is the S-Force Lapswell. That is going to be the card on on the left is a level six light with 2400 attack 2500 defense points and it's going to be a fiend effect monster it says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn the first part of it says if this card is special summon you're going to target an s force monster in your graveyard except for s force laps one and special summon it the second part is you can banish one s force card from your hand destroy all opponent's monsters in the same columns as your s force monsters that's pretty good considering you can just special summon it and then get another one place it right in the zone as soon as it's special summoned and then uh, you can banish one s force pop all monsters in the same column as all the s force not just itself that's actually a pretty cool effect if only this was a quick effect uh next up though we have another newer support card called the s force uh retroactive which is a warrior effect uh light level one with zero attack and zero defense it almost reminds me of like rc if any of you guys are like transformers fans uh pretty cool though level one warrior and it says that you can only use the first second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn the first part of it says if a monster you control would be used as link material for an S-Force monster. This card in your hand can also be used as material. The second part is during the main phase, as a quick effect, you can return this card to the hand if you do spell some one level two or higher S-Force monster in your hand. Oh, so you can summon Lapswell well, and then Lapswell well can resummon another card. Okay, that's pretty good. And then uh, the third part is if an S-Force monster you control would banish a card or cards from the hand to activate its effects, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay, well that facilitates the other part of the other effect. So these do synergize quite well with each other. Now again, I wish this effect was a quick effect. I don't know the archetype fully. Uh, I haven't even seen it see any play uh, like at all. But let me know guys, is there a way to make this part of a quick effect? Like is there like a link monster or another monster that makes the S-Forces activate as a quick effect? Because this effect doesn't get activated when it's summoned. Uh, this card effect, when it does get splashed, someone you can bring back that other monster. I feel like as far as there's ones where like it can't like be destroyed in the same column or something, so you'd have to stall with this. Then you get the effect of it. Uh, lay down line like this. If this was a quick effect, this archetype would be looking a lot better. But the way to play around columns is just you know you play around the columns if you know your opponent is playing a certain archetype. I really wish that this archetype would be a lot better. Um, same thing with like the. Mech Knights are actually like pretty decent uh, as far as the columns go. That's like the one Yu-Gi-Oh mechanic that I thought was always pretty cool. But next up guys, let's move on to the next uh, bit of Yu-Gi-Oh news. This is, has to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, History Archive Collection. So this isn't coming out for a long time in the OCG. So it's February 19th, 2022. So we don't get this until next year in the OCG, but it's kind of towards the beginning of it. But it's a special pack that will be releasing featuring calls uh, that called uh, to mind key scenes throughout the franchise. So it's going to be things that I think are from like the anime that were really hype. And I was thinking, you know, what were like the most hype uh, moments in the anime besides like we will throw off Exodia? Like, you know, I'm thinking what would be really cool support? And I actually like looked it up on YouTube. I was like the top 10, you know, watch Mojo, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime betrayals and stuff like that. So I thought it was really funny. I was thinking about like, you know, I, I wish I could play it, but you, you guys know how it is with like copyrights. So things like, you know, the uh, moon being destroyed by like the giant soldier of stone, if you guys like remember that, that was really, really funny. But I don't know if that's something that they would make a card off of where he destroys the moon. Uh, but like, this is more along the lines of things I think would actually happen. So over here, we have him summoning all of the Egyptian gods. That's more of a realistic thing uh, that I think would happen. Or the top 10 iconic moments, summoning like Quasar Dragon would be very like, you know, uh, a thing and then also the scene where they use like the berserker soul where it goes draw monster card that would be cool to see maybe some support for as well and then on top of that obviously exodia obliterate this has to be uh, in one of like the top moments of Yu-Gi-Oh. at least that's my like thoughts on it we're probably gonna get some support for exodia that's my guess and like the egyptian gods we recently did get some stuff but is that going to be enough i think that that would be really cool but let me know guys if you guys are anime fans or quasar would be really cool to see like synchro support what are other iconic moments in the anime that have potential to be in this new history collection let me know in the comment section below but anyways that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the news guys let me 
me your thoughts on the cards down below. But thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and do want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the future, hit subscribe, turn the bell, and you'll definitely see more. But take care. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.